In this video I'm going to show you guys how to make a small ship in Minecraft. Now if you're new to the channel at all, we do a lot of time lapses and tutorials just like this one, so make sure to hit the subscribe button. Also guys, if you want more ship tutorials, I'll leave a link in the card above as well as in the description to the full playlist. Anyway, let's get into building. So here we are on my flat tutorial world. So I'll just talk to you guys about the size of the ship if you want to build this um, box that we've got around it, things like that. So in total it's 17 blocks long, that is right to the front point here and right to the bits that are sticking out at the back right there. Um, 11 blocks wide but that is including the sails so yeah it would be 9 blocks if you just want the mast kind of uh, measurements there and if you're having it tied up uh, though typically it doesn't matter when you do it. And in terms of the height, it is 18 blocks high. That is from right from the bottom, uh, right to the top of the mast. Now, if you are building this one underneath the water, um, where are you actually going to be? It's always a good question. So your water level is going to be right here. There you go, that's where your water is going to be. So it's on layer number two, which is where you should uh, just be, you know, having your blocks where they're right next to the water layer. So just go down by one block underneath your water. Um, and if you are building the square, uh, then go one block under again from there. But this is where, this is at least where your water level will be at if you want to do it that way. Um, but if you're doing it like me, which is uh, building it on land and then transferring it into the water, then that'll do. So. I build a box with mine, um, I just find it's a lot easier to figure out where it's going to go, so if you did have this one docked up and you had the front, um, if you have got the box, it's right in the middle of the box, and you've got one, two, three, four, five, and then the seventh block is the slab at the front, uh, and then you can kind of figure yourself out there, so if you're on block three for example, you might have a, a stone wall here, uh, that would then work, so hopefully that helps you guys who are building it, um, you know, docked up. Uh, it definitely helps to know exactly where it is. So grab some couple materials. Uh, you're going to need some spruce slabs, uh, spruce planks, oak slab, oak stairs, oak planks, and an oak fence. So anyway, guys, let's get into the tutorial. For layer number one, what we're going to do is, if you are building the box, go right to the middle. And what we're going to do is we're going to actually be six blocks back for our starting block. So I'm just going to do it every other block. Um, it just shows up better than having just a solid block uh, wall. Um, it's just a lot easier. So they're going, to, they're going to have this one, which is the sixth block. And then on the seventh is actually where we have a spruce slab. We're then going to have a spruce block just behind that. We're now going to go out at a diagonal. And we're going to have one uh, oak slab on the upper piece. We're then going to have three oak stairs facing outwards. Uh, don't usually use stairs, but for this one I decided to. It just it just seemed to fit the style of it. So you got those in there. We're then going to have one spruce slab. Then we'll have one spruce planks, which we're going in. So we're going in by one. Now we're going to have the rudder, which is an oak fence and then an oak plank block and you should be one block away from your corner your, your kind of edge of your build effectively right so same on the other side so you go out with an oak slab i'm gonna have three oak upside down stairs facing outwards then we're gonna have a spruce slab and then you'll notice we've got a nice big gap now you can if you wanted to do um spruce slabs down here i don't um I actually go with spruce planks for this one. You've only got one block to play around with on the interior anyway. Uh, <laughs> I can get into it. There you go. So there's not really much point um, at all. It, it's just a very, very small ship. But that is it, guys, for layer number one. For layer number two, what we're going to do is go right to the front and just place any block at the minute just on top of the... Uh, or in front of the, the last one, and we're going to have a upside down spruce stair here. So this is one of the blocks I missed in the beginning part of it, because uh, I had water on there. Uh, we're actually going to leave this, or you can switch out for a slab. It's um it's totally up to you. Um, we're then going to have an upside down oak stair on the side of that one there. Then an oak plank block, just one behind that one. Then we're going to have four blocks of spruce planks behind it. One, two, three, and four. So directly on top of that uh, oak layer. Then we're going to have two blocks of oak, like this. Then we're going to have an oak slab. 
And actually, if you grab an oak stair, we're going to have that on the back as finishing up the... Like a piece to finish up the rudder. There you go. Get there eventually. Um, and also, just on this block here, we're just going to put in a, a spruce uh, planks. I actually put on a spruce slab on mine. Um, if you notice on the inside. Purely because... Um, you can then kind of get to the window. It's, it's such a tiny window on it. It's a really small ship, but you know, it's up to you guys. Um, so on the other side, you can have that oak stair upside down. Oak plank block behind it. Switch over to your spruce planks and have four of these. One, two, three, and four. We're then going to have two blocks of oak planks. One, two. And then with your oak slab, just have that on the upper piece right at the back. Just like that. And that's it for layer number two. For layer number three, what we're going to do is grab your spruce planks and place a block directly on top of the last layer, so on top of that stair that you had before. Switch over to your oak stairs, and we're going to have an upside down right on the side of that one. We're then going to have a whole rung of uh, spruce planks going all the way on top of the last layer, so all the way to that oak slab that we did before. And then with our oak stairs, we're going to have one on the side here. I'm going to wrap it around here, and then we're going to wrap it around here. So we're going to wrap it around all the back part of it. It's just to make it feel like it's coming in uh, to do the very, very small cabin on this one. Same on the other side, so you get that upside down stair with your oak. And then we're going to switch over to spruce planks, have that directly on top of the last, which will go all the way to the back. So there you go, you get that. Now what we're going to need is a couple new blocks. We're going to need acacia slab and also dark oak slab. So right on the front, we're going to have an upper acacia slab right on this spruce planks block. So the one uh, kind of behind this oak stair, that's where we're going to have that one. We're then going to leave a two block gap and we're going to have two dark oak slabs. So this is where we're going to have the uh, shrouds going in. Back over to your acacia slab. Uh, so from the back, we're going to go onto the second uh, spruce planks and plonk that one in right there like that. Then do the same on the other side, which is much easier now. So we've got the acacia dark oak and then the acacia nice and simple but that is it for layer number three and for layer number four what you guys are going to do is grab your spruce planks block place that on top of the last that you've got here where you got that stair and block and block and then right in the front you're going to have an upside down oak stair got that there then we're going to have a spruce slab that's going to be on top of the oak upside down stair that you had before this one's here then next we're going to have an oak plank block behind these. Then an oak stair. Look towards the front of the ship and place that one down. Then we're going to have two oak slabs. One and two. And two. And then we're going to have a stair going the other way as well. Like that. Then what we're going to do is we're going to get a uh, spruce stair. And we're going to have this one going this way. So we're going to have one going around the side, and then going back that way again. So this way, to the side, and then back again. Then with your spruce planks, have two spruce planks. One, two. Spruce slab over the top, just like that. Uh, let's get rid of this dark oak slab, and we're actually going to grab a warped trapdoor. And just put that on top of that one there, just like that. And with a warped fence gate, we're going to punch these two through on either side as well, like that. Over with your acacia slab, we're going to have an upper on the side here, then a lower here. Then over here, we're going to have a lower as well, like that. And warped fence gate just on this block here, and punch that one in. So, same on the other side. So, you've got upper here, lower. We've already got that one there, so we go to the next one, and we go on a lower for that bit. Put in your warped fence gate and punch that one in. So for the front, grab your acacia slab. We're going to have this one on the upper, which is right next to that oak stair that we've got. Then right next to this uh, slab that we've got here, the spruce slab, we're going to have an acacia slab just on the lower. Then we're going to have a warped fence gate and punch that in. Right here, we're going to have an upper acacia slab. And then we're going to have a lower acacia slab right there, like that. So lots of bits of details with this one, <laughs> lots of slabs. So the same on this side, we're going to have that upper slab with your acacia slab. Then with the lower spruce, we're going to have the same with acacia right next to it. 
Then what we're going to do is with this one that we got here, we're going to put a, a warped uh, fence gate <laughs> and punch that one through. Then with the acacia slab, we're going to have an upper and then a lower here like that. Okay. Then just to finish this one up off, what we're going to do is right at the back, we're going to have uh, three blocks of oak slabs on the upper piece, just to finish that bit there. We're then right in here going to have an oak... Well, actually, I don't know if we do have an oak still or not. We do. Okay, and we can grab the grindstone at the same time. So we're going to have right here an oak stair. Yeah, that is right. Yeah, like that. Um, it's because of this part of the grindstone. You can, of course, have it the other way around if you wanted to. Uh, it's up to you. Totally up to you. Either way works. So I just went with it. I don't know why I went with it for this way, but uh, but that's what I ended up doing. Um, and then I'm going to have to have a very sneaky peek. Uh, we're going to put in yeah, the next bits. So we might as well grab a couple blocks. Grab, an, grab a spruce trapdoor. Grab a stripped spruce wood. Uh, we'll grab the ladder as well. And there we go. It's easy to get to it from the other side. Uh, composter. Oak trapdoor. And we'll grab the oak slab as well from that side. There we go. We are going to need a spruce slab, which we've got here anyway. So that all looks good. So this is where we're going to have the access into the hold. So this is where we're going to have our uh, composter. And if we just bring the stripped spruce wood down, put a ladder on it, leave it where you've got the composter. This is where we're going to put in the spruce trapdoor. So whack that in there. So then at least you can get in um, nice and easily. I mean, it's, it's, it's tiny. You know, it's a small ship. That's where it's going to be. So we've got that there. On the other side, we're going to have an oak Tramp door. I just did this as more of a more of a hold uh, than anything else, and also put the ladder in on that part of it as well. And I'm gonna have to have a look. So we got slab, and then it goes into the other stuff. All oh, makes sense. There we go. So oak slab there. So on the on the upper piece of the kind of like last stuff, and then we're gonna have a spruce slab right here like that. So this is gonna be a part of the bowsprit. It's very very small on the ship. But that's where it kind of ends up going into. But guys, that is it for layer number four. So for layer number five and six, because it's it's really pretty much exactly the same. What we're going to do first is we're actually going to continue and complete the bowsprit. So we've got these ones here. We're actually going to do seven slabs going up or going this way in this direction. So we've already got two. So we've got one, two, three. So then we get four. Five, six, and seven like that. That just kind of finishes up uh, that part at least. You know, it's nice and easy. Um, then what we're going to do is we're going to have an acacia slab. This is going to be on top of the warped fence gate that we've already got, like that. Then we're going to go up another one and go in as well. So we end up with a slab right here. So just go over those just like that. And that kind of is the final little little bits of detail for the front. So if we get onto the back now, what we're going to need is blocks that I have not got, which is things like stairs. So let's grab a stair, uh, oak stair that is. So first things first, where we've got the um, stair which is wrapping around for the spruce, place an oak slab on top of that one. We're then going to have an upside down oak stair. And then, because I've forgotten, it's another stair, yeah. All of this is unfortunately hidden in the screenshot and I didn't check some of it. So you get upside down stair there. We're then going to have a normal stair going this way. Then another stair going this way. Then we're going to have an upper slab here across the middle part of it. We'll just continue the rest of the sides here so we get that oak slab in there. Then we get the two upside down stairs like that. And then we get the stair here and a stair here, just like that, nice and simple. Then Acacia, what we're going to do with Acacia is we are actually going to have a slab here, slab here and a slab here. So we just go over that kind of part here and then this, this kind of pattern, you know, waves over and goes over the top of it. it. Looks kind of cool, I think. So that's all looking, yep, looking pretty good. And then for the last bits, what we're going to do is grab your oak slab. Where we've got these two stairs here, put slabs, oak slabs over the top of them. Like that, too. And then we're going to also have an upper slab 
just over the back like that. And then with this, we're actually going to go with our acacia. We're actually going to go above this. So on the side right here, we're going to place a slab and we're going to have another uh, warped fence gate. We're going to punch that one in and then we're also going to step this down. So we end up having one here and one here. So we end up with this like double layer and then we're going to have an acacia slab on the side here and then going over as well and then going back under it like that and put another warp defense gate in so it goes really quite high over the over the cabin it's kind of like uh, double layered up really so what we'll have here is we'll just have these stepping their way down until you get to this one and then have a warp defense gate here and punch that one through on the side and that's how you get that kind of really uh, high angled high pointed uh, kind of part of that ship but uh, yeah, I quite like it I think it looks pretty good so we'll get on to putting in the mast uh, putting in the shrouds and then we'll do the sail so for the mast what we're going to do is we're going to go and grab stripped spruce wood and where we've already got that uh, composter we're going to add five blocks to it so one two three four and five we're then going to need a composter which I've not picked up and um, you can either use compost or you can use a barrel. It's totally up to you guys. Uh, but put in a composter or barrel. And then also put one going forwards like this. Now you can put a ladder at the back of this. All the way up. And then we just cap this one off with a spruce trapdoor. Because we're going to have the mass going on this one. So for this part what we're going to do is we're going to have six blocks. One, two, three, four, five and six. Then we're going to have a block that I haven't got because I've run out of uh, stuff. Just a granite wall. And then we're going to have a spruce fence on top of that. Cool. So the next thing that we're going to do is just from the uh, compost that we've got here, we're actually going to go up two blocks. One, two. And this is where we're going to have our mast in there. So we're going to actually use a barrel. We're going to have it on the side. So on the, on the frontmost part of it, put a barrel in on its side. Like that. Um, and then we're going to have a block on either side. And you can have it, of course, straight if you want to. You could just add another three blocks onto each side. But we're going to do it angled because it looks more interesting. It makes the sail look a lot more interesting as well. So we're going to go one, two, three. Like that, going forwards. And I'm going to do the same on the back as well. Two and three like that. Cool. So that looks all good. And then what we're going to do is just on the block above it, grab your spruce stairs and put upside down spruce stairs around all of it. That's the smallest crow's nest pretty much ever, but uh, that is what we've got. So that's quite cool. Uh, going to put birch fence on each of those. Yeah, it's not really usable. That's the only problem, but it is such a small ship. And you could always like knock this out so you can, you know, uh, if you wanted to like have this up to here. So if you are in survival, you can at least get around to these and potentially fall off, but it, it seems to be okay. Yeah, you'll fall off. You'll fall off and die. So maybe don't do that as a survival player. Who knows? Right, so next, anyway, what we're going to do is grab your oak fence. And as you can see, I've been doing the smaller ships with just a single line. You can have them connected up if you want. In fact, it's the way that we build it is going to be connected up. So on the bowsprit, the bit that's right in the front, we're going to go to the second slab, the one that you can actually place a block on and use oak fence. Then go back, then go up, then go back, then go up. And it's just this pattern of snaking your way up until you hit into uh, the mast. Now, you can either leave it like that, or you can do what I've done, which is knock these out. And I've just been doing this kind of technique. I've seen it a lot on, on bigger ships as well, but I've been using it for the small ships. I think it looks quite good. So we'll do the same, uh, just going the other way around. So where we've got this stair that we've got here, we're going to go and place a oak fence down there. Then we're going to go down, then out or back or whatever you want to call it. Then down, then back, then down, then back. And we just work our way until it looks like it would kind of connect onto onto there basically so you know again you can have it connected up uh, you can move it or you can just knock these out and then oops not not that one out just knock the bottom piece out and then it'll look like there's a line going from there to this orange uh, acacia slab that we've got on the back there and then that's kind of all looking pretty cool to be fair so that's always quite good Right, so next guys, we will get on to doing the shrouds. So for the shrouds, grab your birch fence. We're actually going to do it on the left-hand side of the ship, if you're facing forwards. Um, on these two dark 
oak uh, slabs that we've got. Going to place down the two uh, fences. And then on the front, this one's going to be four high in total, so we add another three onto it. One, two, and three. On the back, we add two onto it. One and two. Then what we do is we just, on either of these top ones, or both of these top ones, sorry, add a birch fence behind each of them. And then with the back one, we're going to just connect that up like that. And then we're going to add another two on top of them. One, two. This middle one right here is going to go just two extra higher, just singularly, right up to that uh, compost that you got there. And then we're going to move to the side and then go up as well. And that's the shrouds. These are really basic. They're not my best. Um, it's just with the detail. This is where I ended up fitting it in and how it just ended up working. So again, put two on top of the last one. The first one's going to be four high, so add three to it. One, two, three. And the back is going to be three high, so add two to it. One, two. Add one to the back of each of these, like this. Connect them up. And add another two on top. And then just basically follow this. So you're going to do follow the mast. And that's it. Nice and easy. Nice and simple. Really is for this one. So that is it for the shrouds. So the last thing to do is the sail. So for the sails, what we're going to do is I'm going to show you guys two different versions. Um, the tied up version and the full in the wind kind of version. Um, both of them are very similar, as you'll see. So all you need to do is come forwards off of the mast by one block and go down as well. And we're just going to follow the pattern with this one. Like that. And then what you'd end up doing to tie this off is you might make it a little bit thicker in the middle, perhaps. Uh, just by a couple blocks. Does not have to be exactly the same as you guys have probably seen. And then you can like pull bits of it forwards or backwards, for example. Like this. And that would be it for, for tying it off. Um, it, it can be as simple as that. You might even like push, for example, that one back. And you might get it to look like that. And then it looks like the sail has been tied. Nice and easy. So for the main one, because that is the easiest, easiest bit of it. For the actual main mast, if you just reset it to having one... Sorry, main sail, one um, going forwards. We'll then do going down again and go with two blocks. You do a really basic shape like this. Then we'll go out again and do two. And you might be thinking, but this doesn't look like what it looks like over the side. And that's because it's organics. So there we go, we get that. Now we're going to pull it in with just one block like this and we'll do it again for the sides that we can like this and this one's got an extra block because of how the mast is turned so it's actually forwards more so you end up with a very blocky but uh, big sail like this um, if you can't do the next bit this is where you can reset to or if you want to try it again and it didn't turn out quite right this is your reset point it works really well um, now the first thing we can do is we can knock out some of the top part of it and we can also knock out some of the bottom part now the bottom part with this one as you can see it's it's kind of because of the front shape of it anyway it, it doesn't matter as much because it's already kind of got that with these two side bits but I still like to knock out a couple blocks maybe even that much on that side maybe like that one there uh, I actually don't think that looks good I'm gonna move those back into there there we go so something like that will do um, to knock it out you could do your, your side bits as well if you wanted to from here, if this was the way you're going to go. Um, it's totally up to you. But what we're going to do is we're going to round it off. So what we try and do is we try and eliminate these horrible right angles that you end up getting like, like in here. This is terrible. So the easiest way is to knock this block out here and move it forwards like that. And we can also do a knock that way there and move that one backwards. And as you can see, we can just keep doing this. Or something very similar and you'll get a really nice smooth pattern a more organic pattern we can also do the same on here and usually with the edges you want to push them back a little bit like that we can add the side bits on so it might be like this one goes back to there and this one here i quite like that i quite like this little squiggly bit um, i don't know what i've done on this side yeah so i ended up pushing that one in i kind of like it so i'm going to keep it and we're just going to go down out even like that, that looks pretty good. Over here, we can then crush this one in or push this one in, whatever you want to say, and go back as well. And then we'll do the same here, 
like that. And again, there. And then we're going to just push this back. And you end up with a nice organic looking cell. I think this one looks better than that one as well. It ends up being a little bit different every time. And that's a good thing. Because uh, at the end of the day, the wind will blow it in a slightly different way. So it's always quite good. So once you learn how to do it, it's really easy. You can apply it to any sail at all. Especially the square rigged ones obviously with this technique. But uh, any sail will work with. Behind these, I just like to grab an oak fence and plonk down some blocks. Like this. And you can also have them on here as well if you wanted to. Going all the way across. I don't know what I did with this one. I didn't do that. But it's up to you. Um, totally up to you. So it depends if you want to see it or not. I can see why I removed them now. It doesn't look right, does it? So I've only done it against the sail parts of it. Because it just looks better. Um, for the bigger ships, it's up to you of what you think looks better. But, guys, that is it for the tutorial. Let's jump over to my main world. And I'm actually going to show you guys a little interior on this one. Just so it gives you some ideas. Alright, so here we are. So I haven't plonked this into my world yet, um, but I have got it on my, well, obviously on my ship graveyard kind of thing. <laughs> it's not really a graveyard, but it's my like ship store where I can just copy and paste ships in and out. So I've got the interior for this one. I did do a slight tweak to it, so I've actually put in a skylight. I'm really liking these at the minute. I don't know why. Um, I think part of the reason is for small cabins, small areas, uh, getting that extra a little bit of height and also natural light just seems to work uh, it's because you can put of course since this isn't up you know it's not on the not on this level it's on this level I can then put a lantern on it so that that works really well uh, you're not gonna be surprised about this you can see it in one frame uh, <laughs> orange bed a nice chest and a nice little lamp there which is which is on the skylight part of it that's it, really. Uh, and then the other part of it, the other inter interior, I guess, is just chest storage, really. You've got two chests here. Uh, that's the that's the best I could come up with. I know. Incredible. <laughs> but anyway, guys, um, if you guys can do better with the interior, I'm sure somebody out there will with like uh, loads of item frames or putting up paintings, things like that, um, signs, anything like that, then uh, yeah do let me know or do send me pictures on like Twitter or Discord or anything like that. It's always appreciated. But anyway, guys, hopefully if you, you have enjoyed this tutorial. If you have, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. And uh, as always, guys, I will see you on the next one.